Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft here on the Hope Spring server. I am Joe BB3 from Joe BB3 Games, and uh, uh, welcome to the video. Um, I'm here at my tunnel to the witch farm. I told you last time, more than likely, I'd be doing this, and guess what I'm doing today? I'm doing this. And uh, if you stick around for a while and check out my design for this tunnel, hopefully it's a little bit better than the last one. Uh, the Blaze Farm was a little bit repetitive. I agree with you. But uh, this one this one is a little bit better, I think. And I'll get better as time goes on, definitely, because uh, this type of building is new to me. I'm normally a contraptions and, and uh, automation guy. But... Uh, I want to try this creative, not creative, but uh, uh, artistic type of building where, you know, things come out looking good instead of just blank walls of, of netherrack or cobblestone or, or uh, dare I say, stone brick. Uh, so I kind of want to get away from that stuff, and that's what I'm going to try today. Well, there is going to be a little bit of stone brick, but hey, you know, baby steps. Um... If you do hang around and you like the episode, I would appreciate it if you'd go down there and you'd click that little like button. And if you really like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can find out when I release new content. And uh, it's hard for me to believe, but it's coming pretty regularly. Um, I don't have a schedule, but I, I release a lot of videos. I haven't been doing this for long, and my channel is full of videos. Um, well, not full, but you know... Uh, for just a hobby, it's uh, I'm I'm pretty dedicated to this. So, let's go ahead and get on with the build. I'm going to do a couple things, and then uh, I'll bring you back for the very beginnings, so we can continue on. Because uh, these walls are, uh, yeah, if we go like this, not this, but if we go like that, and we grab our pick and we go like that, there's outside. So. This is going to be, oh, and I lost that piece of, piece of uh, netherrack, so I'm sure a blaze is going to shoot me through here. But uh, it's going to be a little difficult to do this because I'm going to be hovering over thin air every once in a while. But hey, I'm going to give it a shot. And in my design, I really hadn't taken this stuff here into consideration. So uh, hopefully it looks good with what I've, uh, what I've designed for the walls. But I'll get a little bit done, and I'll bring you back and show you what I got. See you in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, I was digging along, and I had my cat on my, my shoulder, and I dug into that lava, and I was hitting the wrong buttons, and... <sighs> I lost everything. The only thing I have left is a couple things that I had in my chest back in my house. And um, everything else is gone. It's uh, buried in that lava somewhere. Oh, wait. I see. I saved a mushroom and a piece of flint. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, hey. So, uh, yeah. All my blocks? Oh, goodness. Luckily, it was all basically netherrack, and I just putting everything away. Uh, oh, man. Oh, let me go pick up my flint and mushroom. Well, since I'm here... May as well come back here. You can see I'm tearing the place apart. But uh, I may as well show off what it's going to look like. So, there's half of it. Right? On this half of the wall. We have some bars. We have some netherrack brick. We have some slabs up here. I'm thinking to turn those back into stone slabs. In my original design, they were stone slabs. There's just not enough texture here. It, I don't know. It just looks a little plain. I kind of like the texture up there. Uh, I had to leave a stair out here because it would break that cactus, so uh, there'll be one here and one on the other side. Um, 
we have a nice little line of netherrack brick going through the ceiling here and uh, some lights and yeah it's it's I think it's gonna look fantastic but uh, I don't have time for that right now I guess I'm gonna go spend some diamonds and spend some time at the uh, the gold farm get me up some levels and uh, do some enchanting uh, well, we'll see you back here in a while. Hey, y'all, I thought I'd bring you back. I, uh, I made a big old stack of coal because I have some netherrack to smelt up so I can make some nether brick for that tunnel. But I'm up here at the build limit, and I thought I'd bring you just to show you what we can see of the, uh, of the server here. My house down there, way down there. I mean, that's the AFK spot for my for my mob farm. The mob farm is right underneath of it, and we have some of uh, Hope Springs amusements over there. The Town Hall. <laughs> we normally see it from the very bottom. Look how look how high up we are. But uh, Foggy's place over there. My daughter's place way over there. That big square of uh, of wood. Uh, yeah, I love looking at it from up here. It kind of gives me a little, gets me a little queasy in my stomach looking over the side like that. Oh, man. Alright, well, I am going to fortune this up. And, uh, I'm going to get something done. I got to get some more, uh, some more armor and, ugh, I just got so much to do. But I'll see you back later. All right, everybody. Uh, it's been a long time, a long time. Look at me. Uh, look at me. Uh, what? You can't do F5. Wait. Oh, my stupid thing. Okay. So. Oh, hey. Look at me. I have on discount armor. The only thing on me that's glowing is my hat. So um, I haven't gone and done the enchanting yet, but uh, I did do some other things. So let's go and look what I've done. Oh yeah. There we go. Running down a hall. I'm really getting tired of running down this hall, so uh, I gotta get the tracks back in here pretty quickly. I guess I'm gonna leave the middle of this just plain um, this stuff. Uh, quartz. I'm gonna leave it plain quartz. I still haven't done the room down at this end of the hall. I'm gonna get me some more purple wool, and I'm gonna do the floor in purple wool, so uh, that way I don't have to do any more quartz and I need to get the tracks back in and once I do then I can do the walls and ceiling in here in the same theme maybe a little more well the purple shows that it's a witch farm so um, the purple floor will be fine but yeah I'm going to eat here get my strength back up there we go and uh We'll get some tracks late, and we will come back, and hopefully, I'll have this done finally. It's been a long night, folks. I have been... Oh, i got to do the entrance down there, too. Um, I have been working. Working on this tunnel. Nothing has gone right, but now it's almost done. So... I'll get some more done, and I will see you in a bit. All right, everyone. Check it out. Yes, I have finished this portion of the Nether Hub Beautification Project. The Witch Tunnel is done. I've got a little bit of packed ice up here, some nether brick. I brought in some uh, some iron, iron fencing to... to tie it in with the tunnel and I used polished andesite for the walls just to get rid of the netherrack 
Yes, it looks uh looks pretty good in here. I am very, very, very pleased. Let's uh let's go down to the other end. Through here with our that you've seen before. I like I like having the little um uh things coming down every once in a while. It kinda if if you didn't have that, you really couldn't gauge how fast you were moving. So having those kinda like lets you see it that you're moving. And, uh, well, I mean, obviously you know you're moving, but it, it gives that extra effect, which is really cool. And down here, I just finished, moved the roof into here, and outlined it in netherrack, and, uh, to tie in the other end, and come out here, and it's just, just like that. So, uh, yeah, this portion of the nether hub beautification project is complete and I had a good time doing it and I, I, I this nether hubs needed a lot of work whoop did I break that no punch an andesite I didn't break it um, yeah so I had a lot of fun guys and if uh, you had fun too uh, go right down there click that that like button and if you really left it please hit the subscribe button and, uh, as always, I am JobyB3 from JobyB3 Games, wishing you a wonderful weekend, and, uh, we will see you later. Ta!